<coughs> Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this video, I will show you how you can uh, make your own custom authentication, like own users by uh, from your table in just two to three minutes. It's a simple process. Many people don't know about this process. So first, let me create a uh, create an application. Uh, let's give name login. Okay, now the application will have default login process. Like the login user and password will be the workspace user and password will be the same. So I need to make it custom. So for that, I I need a table where I will put my users or I will insert my users data. So let's say create, uh, let me create a table. Create a table. Uh, I'm giving the name as Oracle users user. I'm giving two. I need two column. You can have your your column like more than two as your requirement so i need username which will have barca and i need password which will also be barca okay so let me get this table okay the table is created then uh, i need a user so i have to insert a user so from here, object browser, I'm inserting a user, so it's major oracle user. So I will insert a user as my name subdate and subdate one, two, three. Okay. One user is inserted. Uh, for now I'm also uh, entering another user. YouTube one two three. Okay. I have two users. Okay, now I have to go to the application chat component. And from here you can see authentication schemas. In here you will see the application logging is set to Oracle default authentic authentication. Yeah, it will. It, it is the default one. Uh, the default one. What do the uh, the default the default one basically keep the workspace name and password as a login. So I need to make it custom. So for that click on create and select the first one and and then next and I'm giving a name for my custom authentication is my custom and schema type select custom after selecting custom copy the name and authentication function name replace it here and create a function also using the same name so i'm creating a function remember this code function my custom i need two parameters uh, first parameters is will be p username uh, which will well we work at two type and second parameter will be password which is also a worker two type and they will return they will return boolean boolean type data is a user in user count i will also creating another parameter in here okay begin select time into L user from my table name is uh, Oracle user. So I'm placing it here. Where now? Well, make sure to use this upper condition. Means upper condition upper. Uh, my first column name is username. User name is equal to also use the upper one and here parameter is p underscore username okay and also for the same other one upper uh, password then the parameter p, p underscore password Okay, now adding an if condition if and user button zero then return to else return false closing the if if closing the function. Okay, uh, there is a little mistake here. Okay. Now uh, my function, uh, my authentication function is my custom authentication function is ready. Just click on create authentication schema, 
and after creating it you can see uh, current one is the default one so you have to do is click on the custom again and there will be a button appear make it current again current schema now it is set to current schema as you can see now uh, i'm going to the my logging page of my application uh, which will be like this in your application so from here go to process section uh, first of all close the default process okay from here you will see a name is called apex authentication copy the name and create another process paste it here and write this login dot and pass the parameters username to username this parameter and password parameter to uh, this parameter password parameter okay all done so there is a yeah okay my process is also ready now run this application now as for my users what i have submit and submit one two three let's try it okay submit and submit one two three it's login let's try the second users second users youtube and one two three okay youtube and one two three done it's just a simple process thank you for watching this video